Okay, so let's get started. Hey everyone, my name is Natalie Dela Cruz. I am one of the customer success managers and Bluebeam certified instructors here with Orange Blade Consultants. Just to begin, we are limited to 30 minutes with this webinar, so this is a listen only session, but we will be recording and emailing the session to all attendees. In today's webinar, we are going to go over Studio Prime. Studio Prime allows you to manage your users, projects and sessions, integrations, and it allows you to run reports on projects and sessions as well as user activity. If you do have any questions, go ahead and jot them down as we go uh, and feel free to email me at the email address listed at the bottom left hand corner of this slide. Studio Prime. Studio Prime is a secured cloud-based subscription option that provides advanced administrative functionality for added visibility over, over your organization's studio activity with access to external application integrations. It really allows you to gain more control and visibility over your studio activity and allows you to connect your applications. Why is it so beneficial? Studio Prime allows for additional administrative and user management control. Administrators can access studio activity reports through the online Studio Prime portal, and it really makes it easier to collaborate with outside vendors and project partners, giving your organization more control over each studio participant. <clears throat> so let's go over some of the key benefits. Studio Prime allows you to manage all members of your Studio Prime account, assign ownerships or restrictions, and control user access to content and the Bluebeam Studio API. You're able to, to gain complete visibility over your organization's studio usage by issuing and creating in-depth data reports on collaboration activity and participation. You are also able to configure folder automations within Studio Projects to perform repetitive PDF-based workflows for a large number of users, such as converti converting source files to PDF, exporting markups, inserting cover sheets, and more. Studio Prime really harnesses the power of Bluebeam's collaboration technology and manage client integrations with internal and external applications like the ones you see listed below. And just to go over those, uh, it's Procore, Ignite Connect, Hype Autospecs, Field Lens, Tremble Prolog, eBuilder, CMIC, Innate Model Suite, and Vectorworks. So let's go over the two types of users within Studio Prime. Studio Prime administrators can access Studio users to join their Studio Prime account, allowing them to manage those users' projects and sessions, access to Studio API integrations, and access to the content. There are two distinct types of users in Studio Prime. Those are members and collaborators. When invited to a Studio Prime account, Members give administrators the ability to manage their studio account and associated projects and sessions. Collaborators, on the other hand, maintain control over their personal studio account when joining or leaving a, a project or session within the Prime account. So to recap, members are going to be users who have been invited to a Studio Prime account by an admin or owner of the Studio Prime account, typically employees of your organization. Collaborators are users who attend a studio session or project that is managed as part of the Studio Prime account, but have not actually been invited to join the account. <clears throat> studio Prime consists of three roles for members. First, we'll go over members. This is a basic role assigned to a user invited to, to join Studio Prime. A Studio user can only be a member of one Studio Prime account and they have the following abilities and Studio Prime. They can create Studio Prime manage, 
manage projects and sessions, and they can leverage the Studio API. Then we have admins. This is an administrative role that can have that can be assigned to any member of any member by an owner or another admin. There can be more than one admin in a Studio Prime account. Admins have the following abilities in Studio Prime. They have all the member functionality as I listed before. They can join the manage and they can join and manage any Studio Prime projects and sessions. They have access to the Prime Portal admin functions and they have the ability to manage all users from within the account. And finally, the owner role. The owner is assigned to a user when a Studio Prime account is established. This user has the functionality of all an admin plus all the admin functionalities uh, and the ability to view Studio Prime license information. Additionally, their permissions cannot be modified by another user. The owner has all admin functionality as listed before, as well as all the other roles. So now let's go over the project and session management. This is a large part of your Studio Prime account. Uh, and as an administrator and owner, you have the ability to manage all your users' Studio projects and sessions being hosted by your account members. This, manage, this management includes the ability to view files and attendees, transfer ownership, restrict attendees by email address, delete the project or session, and enter the project or session to change permissions, add, remove files, and we'll go over those settings here in a bit. Let's go ahead and take a look. So the first thing you're going to want to know is how do you get to the Prime Portal? To get there, you go to prime.bluebeam.com where you'll enter your username and password. This is created when the account was originally signed up or the admin to your account will have this information for you. Once logged in, you're going to see the Prime dashboard, which is what we're looking at now. This is where you'll get a quick overview of your Prime account. Here you'll see the total users, managed projects and sessions, active integrations, a chart showing usage, and then here you'll see recently created projects and sessions. By clicking any of these options, you'll have the ability to access additional functionality. Let's start by clicking on users. On the users page, you have the ability to manage the members, collaborators, pending invites, and block collaborators. As I mentioned earlier, members are managed users within your account that you've invited, usually employees of your company. From within the members page, you can revoke or temporarily disable the members access. You'll also be able to view any projects or sessions a member owns and attends. And to do that, you would just click on the member's name. Once you're in there, you'll see the ability to view any projects they're attending, sessions owned, sessions attending, the project name, project ID, the disable option, and then the revoke option. Collaborators are users who have attended one of your managed projects or sessions. From within this tab, you can block their access to, the, to your managed projects or sessions and view which ones they are attending. And to view those, you would just click on the tabs up here. And same thing, you would see the project name, project ID, and the ability to block that collaborator. And then we have pending invites. The pending invites will allow you to view anyone you've invited, but they have yet to accept the invitation. You'll also be able to invite a member 
from within the screen by clicking on the invite button. You would enter their email address here and then an optional message here. Once that information is entered, you would send the invitation and then they would receive an email with the invitation request. And then we have the block collaborators. Usually used if an employee has left the company and you no longer want them to have access to your, your Prime account. Um, that's usually why the block collaborators would be there or any other reasons. Like with everything within review, there's different ways to get to the same place. For example, you can click on this user dropdown and hop between, between panels quickly. From here, we can get into projects, sessions, without having to click around to the main menu. Or we can click on the purple Prime logo up at the top left, and it'll take us right back to the home page. It just saves you a click, but it just saves you clicks by uh, clicking on these little shortcuts. So now let's hop into integrations. If you've created or purchased a custom application that integrates with the Bluebeam API, you can manage it here. For more information uh, on integrations, you can go to developer.bluebeam.com. From here, you can also hop into projects and sessions. Once you're in here, you'll have the ability to view all the information on that project. For example, let me go ahead and pop one, check one out here. We'll go to testing. Once we're in here, you'll have the ability to transfer ownership, generate insight, restrict attendees, delete the project, and you can view it in review. You can also check out any documents that are, that are associated with that project from here. See who the current owner is, the project ID, and the name. Sessions is going to be similar. It's going to look the same. You're going to see the ID here, the host, the name of the session, documents included, and then all the same admin options here off to the left. Transfer ownership, view and review, generate insight, restrict attendees, and delete the session. From within these menus, you also have the option to hop into review. So just as an example, we'll go into testing. You can click on view and review. This little pop-up will pop up asking if you want to view it and review. Go ahead and open. It'll automatically open that project for you with all the folders included and in, in files. And then we have folder automations. We'll let that load. <laughs> Folder automations really allows you to streamline your, your workflows. For example, you can convert files to PDF automatically, um, publish PDFs from the WGs, and just to do that, it's pretty simple. You can create it up here by clicking Create New. You select the project you want it assigned to. So we'll go ahead and assign it to, I have a test here. From here, you'll, you'll select the folder you want it to assign, you want it assigned to. Let's see. You would select the automation setting. So here I want if I want it to start when the file is loaded to the folder, an optional description, and then what you plan on doing with the automation. So let's say we're doing Word to PDF. And then you would save. Looks like it exists already, so we'll go.
We'll go back here. It looks like it was created here. Once you have it created, you'll have the option to enable or disable any of these automations down here. To do that, you would just click on edit. You would add any, any customizations that you need assigned to that automation. For example, here, if you wanted to create a PDF, you also have options to export your markups, export from data, insert blank pages, repair or unflatten or save as PDFs. So here really what happens is you would select these options, you would save them, anything added to that particular folder will automatically convert Word to PDF or depending on whatever options you've selected down here. It doesn't look like there's any folders assigned to this one, but if there were, this is where you would select them, you would click go, and then you would save. Once you hop into that project or session, you would see that automatically those, any, any documents that were added into that folder would be created into a PDF. So let's go over some FAQs. How will members join once invited? When a Studio user has received an invite, they can click Become a Member in the Invite to accept it. This will then take them to a welcome page where they can accept your invitation to join a studio, your Studio Prime account. During this process, users will have the opportunity to transfer any projects and sessions that should not be managed within a Studio Prime account to another studio account. Another question I've been asked is, how do I add or invite collaborators to my Studio Prime account? You actually don't need to do anything to invite them to your Studio Prime account. Just invite them to join your projects and sessions like you normally would, and collaborators collaborators will show up in your Studio Prime portal automatically when they start participating. Another question is, does everyone need their own copy of Review? In short, yes. Each user would need to install Bluebeam Review, although Review is not needed to manage a Studio Prime account. You can access the online Studio Prime portal, which you see here, to control users, uh, users and ac uh, access any reports on user activity. If you're looking to only work as the admin and pull these reports, you do not need a copy of Review. Are there different levels of Prime? Yes, depending on how many users you need to manage, there are six different levels of Studio Prime. You always have the opportunity to upgrade if needed, but please feel free to reach out to us for a quote. We are the only reseller that offers Prime trials, so, this, if, so if this is something you're interested in, please let us know. We are definitely happy to help. Thank you so much for taking the time to join my webinar today. Please feel free to reach out to us by email at bluebeam at orangeblade.com. Give us a call at 480-559-8670 or visit our site at orangeblade.com. Again, my name is Natalie Dela Cruz with Orange Blade Consultants. Thank you so much for taking the time with me. Have a great day.